Phillips of the BBC, and then on the right we have Mr. Eric Phillips, who is the deputy head for the uh, Voice of America. Bakış açını değiştirmek için değil, farklı bakış açılarına yer vermek için. Bütün Türkiye'nin gündemi. Dünyanın önde gelen dört yayın kuruluşu bu projede buluştu. Deutsche Welle, BBC, Voice of America, Fonz ve Katrin. So I'm, I'm very happy that we, that we can be here today with Plus90 and also I'm happy, as you can imagine, that we managed to make this coalition around this Turkish program possible. We know the wonderful strengths of the YouTube platform and the way that new audiences for news, particularly young audiences. If we wish to have conversations that matter with them, we have to be on this thing. If we're not on this thing, well, then we're nowhere. Um, so this idea of providing, again, trusted, verified content that meets journalistic standards uh, to people, namely Turks, who are very media savvy, very tech savvy. Meddling and so on. And if you do have reporters working for you here, will you try to, will you have them accredited as foreign correspondents? I'm quite optimistic that they can do their good job. Nevertheless, I know that there are tensions in this country around journalism, put it mildly. Um, you're all public services of journalism in your own country, so what is the motive that you came together for Turkey, for Turkish? We need the audience uh, to make it a success, and uh, then we see, see maybe in a year again what's going to happen, but first of all, this is uh, starting today, and uh, so we have to see what, what's going to, to, to come out of it. But we want to do something slightly different. We're doing something with a clear public service mission around quality, independent provision of news. And we thought Turkey might be a good idea because we both have Turkish language office. And then we brought other people into it, which we met a bit later. And they were also interested, like the Americans and the French. And then we decided, OK, let's do something together. Well, Turkey is a very important country with a lot of inhabitants and it has close ties and relationships with our countries, for instance. So it was an ideal um, country to try this new cooperation form, which is also, as I said, new for us. It feels like a really positive step for us because, of course, each of the four broadcasters is doing something very different. But we feel that we have a great strength if we come together because we know that YouTube audiences want to find a wide range of content together in one place so that we think the strength and the depth of our editorial offer on YouTube as a group will be stronger than if we were alone. So it's really important to have as, as strong an offer for the YouTube audience together as we can because that's the best way for us to find that younger audience who are curious about the world around them. So with this project that we have launched today, Arte Daxon will be producing content, the partners that you saw today, uh, keeping in mind a young, influential audience in Turkey on a variety of topics to include politics, to include science and technology, uh, economics, and perhaps maybe entertainment from time to time. Um, the target is for people obviously to watch Plus 90, but also to talk with one another, to create bridges, to get folks who weren't interacting and talking to each other to do so via this online platform. Time and the viewers will tell what the future of this project is. If Turks come in droves, in heavy numbers, to watch and engage, then Plus 90 will have a bright and beautiful future. Um, so it's up to us to do a good job of convincing them to choose to come in consult us and like and discuss. Oh, and uh, I think the smart thing and for us the interest and, uh, and, and we are very happy to, to produce TV, happy with it. So this is what we're doing. We can't exclude that we have a general overview, but uh, every um, media house is producing um, their videos uh, on their own uh, purpose. Yeah.